Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off the Record where we talk about whatever we want. And today we have Paco here. Woo! He Woo! is, he is Woo! a YouTuber who he says is trying to do stand up. He's trying he's really also hard. Also, a professional coattail writer. The, these are his words, not mine. Yeah. And we stole them from Ryan Hika. We yeah. did. Yeah, oh. screw that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by a professional coattail writer? So oh, Ryan Hika, and he's using him to get famous. Yeah, 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 yeah. but also yeah. getting paid. But even nice. before Ryan, I was working for uh, Wasabi Productions. Oh, you when know the guys too? When they were together? Yeah, 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 when they were together. I was the reason they broke up. So. Really? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't know, I would believe you. Yeah, I know, I'm Wait, a great liar. So, mm. when I met you, it could be. Um, I do remember, I actually forgot that you were a part of the Ryan Higa's camp. Mm -hmm. I do. he's very forgettable in the videos? Yeah, because he's like a nobody, but yeah, like, yeah. no. When we met, <laughs> when, I met you, when I met you at ISA, right, I was like, oh, this guy's fucking dope, and then we're just like talking. Yeah, and then I'm like, I like this guy, and I'm like, why don't you come on uh, Just Kidding News? And then you start talking about how you worked with Ryan and all this, and I was like, oh, Yeah, name fuck. dropped. I do remember you, I do remember you in like the Mafia games and all the stuff that they would play. That's where I saw you from, mm. but I invited- Wait, Mafia too? Yeah, because they copied our, our channel. Providers. But I, I- No, 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 get it right. We copy Sidemen, okay? Yeah. Who's that? People get way more views than you. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I don't even know. Okay, well, you win. They but, probably copied us. But, but, but the thing is, I invited his ass before I knew about the whole, like, he's a part of their group. Oh damn! Oh, that means on my legitimateness song. then. Huh? My legitimateness. Yeah, but you were actually liked. Hey, but when can we get Ryan? <laughs> I mean, like he only really does stuff for like relevant people. So. Um, yeah, I had to yeah, shoot my shot. happen over here. Good nah. luck. Good luck. Good luck. I have his number. Does that count? Um, a lot of people have his number. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the funny thing is like we've known him for a long time, but we never got close with him. That, that's a lot of people on YouTube, though. Yeah, Just that's true. Stay. You're like friends, but it's like you guys all know that you're busy, but you can't really like, mm -hmm. you know, have the, that time to get close. But who's yeah. busy all the time? 24 hours, nobody. Like, I am. I don't want to see anyone. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's like also, you nobody want, thinks you're that busy. Nobody. Does. You want time to wind down. Yeah. And also, we're all the way in Vegas, so. Oh, are you yeah, really? that's true. Yeah. When I'm there, I'm not trying to meet you guys. I'm trying to gamble. Exactly. You're trying to have fun. <laughs> You're not trying to have fun with friends. Nope. Did you know that Vegas is his promised land? Yeah. That's where I believe that you can live, as my friend Bart says, like a rapper, for very cheap. It's true. Tell him about your apartment. Dude, I have a two bedroom apartment for 1400 See, that's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, 1400 a month, oh. all amenities. Dude, I get a monthly massage and blow job. Damn. It's great. Enrique is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the square footage? Uh, I think it's like 12 to 1400. That's like my house, bro. That's nice. And I pay 4,000 a month. Oh, that's, that's so What are we paying man. for? All by yourself. And yeah. you don't even get an Enrique, dude. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> dude, I <nice. laughs> And I have to massage and clean myself. And give your own a blowjob, damn it. I, I failed it. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. I'm like, damn it. And I have to clean after that. Thank you for still accepting it. I like the game. Give your own a damn it. <laughs> but you still took it. That was cool. Mm -hmm. I knew where you were getting at. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. I like it when I when I get dissed. Yeah, you committed. Because I don't get attention. So when I get attention, that's yeah. when I'm like, I get love. Ooh, actually, do you feel like the reason why you kind of like got into comedy and stuff like that? Um, and I guess this could be for everybody. I'm about to be deep. Is because you didn't get certain attention that you feel like you wanted as a kid. Oh maybe, man. You know, this is fine, you know. Also, this is like a Me Too thing, so you might want to move. That, dude. <laughs> Canceled right there, guys. No, she did the fucking this one, and it didn't move. No, no, yeah, no, no. It didn't move. It clawed a little. No, it didn't. No, it, did not. it was a two knuckle claw. I love it. straight. No, there was two knuckles. Like zoom a in, all right? Minority right. Report, zoom. Do all that <laughs> shit, dude. I looked. I do think that comedy is an awesome coping mechanism, but it does come from a dark place. Yeah. I have rarely met a really funny person that's had a really good childhood. Uh huh. Yeah. Know. You know what I mean? Like, I, name one. Everyone that's had a great childhood that tries to go into comedy, they're not funny. They suck. What happened to you, Steve? What are you talking about? I thought you had a great childhood. He always talks about how he wants to be accepted by his father <laughs> all the time. Well, he, he wishes grandpa would stop his kissing his girlfriend. Listen, there's two versions of me, right? There's troll me, which 
to you guys, I'm always like, my parents were the tire, like so tight to me. My dad would hug me too hard, and sometimes it would choke me a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there's the other version of me where, yeah, sometimes I talk about the real shit. And yeah, and I, and I know it's to troll you, because it's hilarious. Because you're just playing whatever stereotype people think. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. you're just oh going against whatever the movie yeah, is. Yeah, because if, if we're talking about how we got, we got beat, he's playing the role of, well, I'm so white and I'm so. You know, yeah. you listen to me. Yeah, yeah we have. A you feel the role. You feel the it's role. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 sometimes it's funny because on my podcast with Nikki, we we get somebody wrote in and they're like, "Hey, I know that you had such a great upbringing because they saw me on JK." Oh God. <laughs> and, and and they're like, "Well, where else would they see you?" Parents. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, 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 I'm saying that they, they saw me say that. I'm fired, girl. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, so I, it was one of those things where I'm like, oh, fuck, like, because I troll so hard, they don't it's really. It's the truth. Yeah, they. They're, See, they're, now you know how I feel when I'm trying to, like, actually tell her mom, like, a real story. And then I'm, I'm on the verge of breaking and, and, and crying, and she thinks, "Are you fucking with me?" I'm yeah. like, "No, I'm Wait, trying to so connect with you." Are you trying to blame it on my mom? I know what. Troll? No, 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 because he was laughing at me when I was explaining that when I was trying to pour my heart out to Steven. Well, it's just funny because you're because I picture you actually pouring your heart out yeah, and then just getting think. laughed at, yeah, which is absolutely. funny. It, 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 yeah, even when I think about it, it's pretty funny. Yeah. It is, man, I, and I feel for him because I'm like, "Oh shit, he's really trying to connect." And my mom's like, "Get the fuck out!" <laughs> just, to, just to catch her up, uh, we were driving. Uh, with her, her, her mom, and then um, we were trying to kind of convince her to like move in with us mm -hmm. and just to be a part of the family. And I was telling her that uh, when I was six, my parents got divorced. I'm the only child, so my family was just really lonely. And then like I started thinking about it, I'm like man, like Tyke has a way better than I'll ever have, and he has family getting, around. Like, his eyes. I'm are getting kind of like you know, I'm like looking at, at her like, you know, it'd be really cool. And this means a lot to me. And I'm like, I think I probably love you as much as I love my own mom. Mm. And there's like a little bit of silence, and she goes. Are you fucking with me? And I'm like, motherfucker. It's the best. I'm trying to. How could you not laugh at that? That's what I'm saying. True. I have a question though. Uh, is the off the record segment um, about the guest? Ooh. Or. Why are we fucking up? <laughs> <laughs> if the guest is boring, we have to kind of. <laughs> nice. All right, all right, all right. Oh. We got him back. You got him back, dude. It was bobbing and weaving. I took one on the chin. All right, that's cool. Wait, you know? I want to know why you brought a whole notebook. Your own bounce board oh, or something? Oh, no. I just, she has like, this joke. If, if I have yeah. a good joke, if I have a good joke, I'll write it down. Or if you guys have a good joke. So you're stealing jokes. I'll steal your guys' jokes. I don't care. <laughs> that's what YouTube has come to. What's up? <laughs> it's go. not the first time it happened. No, no. really, though. The whole segment. Gene hat. On my oh, <laughs> you got a jean hat. I got I got a denim hat. It's a bucket hat. Keeps all my ideas from being stolen. Oh, uh, Okay. You know, uh, didn't like the you guys don't even know, but I'm wearing it backwards. Uh, I'm edgy. Nobody's gonna steal your fashion, bro. You'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you could have some to steal. Uh, no, I, I have no fashion. I'm very famous for that. No fashion, no class, no taste. He skipped the teen years and went straight to dad. Yeah, I mean, look at my hair, dude. <laughs> There's none, there's he none. went straight there because he didn't have a good relationship with his. Got it. Oh. oh no, my dad has plenty of his hair. And I envy him for it and hate him for it and loathe him. Good for you. Your dad has good hair? He does. I think your hair is cool. <laughs> Let's not go crazy he's, here. He's stuttering a little bit. Let's not go crazy. I also want to lie. Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, Paco, did you grow up here in LA? No, I grew up in Hawaii. Oh, what part? Yeah, Oahu. Oh shit! So, like part of Oahu. Uh, the like Waipahu, so near Pearl Harbor, basically. Oh. Where my 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 people bombed. And, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> no. And then they left oh, me you're behind. Also part Japanese. Yeah, I'm half Japanese. I'm half Japanese, half Filipino. Oh cool. Yeah, so I'm a dirty mix, you know. Nobody really claims. So you're like, on. So you're like on time, but then not on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'll show up on time and then sit in my car on my phone for a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do. How do you like living? How do you like living here versus like living over there? Uh, it's way more expensive over there. Is and it? Yeah, because everything has to be imported. Like milk is eight dollars a gallon. Oh, fuck. Yeah. How do people survive out there? They don't. They have three jobs. They drink <laughs> almond milk. That, that too. But also that's why like so many families have like like everybody living in one house. Oh, it's a necessity. Yeah, almost. I just found out this. If your household makes uh, like ninety-one thousand dollars, that's considered low income. In Hawaii. Yeah. Because yeah. there's probably three families in a household. Yeah, and it's expensive to live there. Damn. Is it Oahu like, specific or is it? Uh, actually, I think Oahu is like one of the cheaper. Oh. Because everything goes to Oahu and then has to be imported out oh. even more to the other islands. I could be making all this shit up. I don't know, but it sounds correct. Yeah. I can't even people. I can't even believe that people vacation in Waikiki because I don't like it that much. Yeah, it's mm. pretty yucky. Yeah, it's a fake beach actually. Is it really? Yeah, they yeah, imported they all the sand. sand to there. It's, it's hella coarse. 
That's why oh. underneath, if you like start digging, usually the like secu uh, like uh, lifeguards or whatever will tell you stop because like you're gonna get show like concrete and all that everything. What? Yeah, so it's fake. It's fake. Ha! <laughs> it's like tits. Wow. Well, that that some that tits, used to be bro. just Calm cool. it down. It, Like I think it was just like coral and all broken up, and then they for the tourism they would bring a shit ton of sand because that's where all of the uh, first hotels were. Yeah. Mm. yeah, bring the beach there. That's why. But then the other beaches are real, though, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like the like like North Shore, North Shore, all that. Yeah, and it's like super nice. But North Shore is like kind of expensive to live because like it's like where all the surfers go to practice. Yeah. All the events are held over there. But I mean, hey, paradise. Well, this time we went around. Um, our local friends took us like toward Electrics and then the West Side, mm -hmm. and then that was nothing but straight like Hawaiians and locals and oh I was yeah because like, that's like why and I and like, yeah it was that area like yeah if, and I was like if wow, someone with your skin complexion came over there you get stink eyes that's what I heard really? really? yeah yeah like they they really don't like white people can we go Steve yeah. can we go no I want to see I want to see Steve get harassed it wouldn't work very well I don't I don't really get angry at people, things like that I know you don't. yeah because he's used to it yeah well then if that's the case you might be a, they might like you oh there you go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. If they like try to attack you and you're just like, oh, whatever. Not and I'd be like, hey, hey guys, now I'm one of you guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they love that shit. They He's love very that. Hawaiian, dude. Yeah. He's very go with the flow, oh, yeah. chill. Yeah. yeah. True. Right. Do you I miss the sure. beach? I have one. I don't <laughs> miss the beach. I, like, it's what? fun. I mean, it's, that's why he lives in the desert now. Yeah. It's fun until you have to like walk back to your car and then all the sand gets stuck to you and then you bring it into your car. Dude, I know it's super small, but that's the one thing I was always like, dude, this is so annoying. But there's yeah, the showers too. Yeah. No, yeah, but no, you still gets in there. And then when you have to walk to your car, you're yeah. kicking up sand onto oh. your legs and everything. Hey, so here's what's here's my question. It's like, why is there so many locals in Las Vegas? There's it's, a fuck ton of Hawaiians yeah. there. I think um, it's due to a couple of different things. Like, where do you vacation if you live in paradise? You know, they go Vegas to is paradise? Vegas? No, no, no. If you live in Hawaii, oh, which is paradise. Yeah. So you want to go to some place that's like Sin City, where you, and then you know gambling and all that. Oh, because it's and, illegal in Hawaii. Uh, yeah. Actually, there's a lot of uh gambling houses that just got caught. Oh. But uh, also, I think at the same time when uh it was starting, like they had a lot of good specials. Oh, because like, California hotel. Yeah, and okay. planes would like fly you out, and you can mm -hmm. stay there. Like they would accommodate a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, I remember that. So I think yeah. Hawaiians just started going a lot more just because it was convenient, it was cheaper, and then it just became a thing like, let's just go here. They just skip LA mm -hmm. and go straight yeah. to Vegas. What blows my mind is you come from the most wettest part of America to the driest part. Yeah. And that's crazy because just living in LA, going to Vegas, it Vegas alone is, is too crazy for me. If I stay for over three, four days, I feel like they just sucked everything out of me. My fucking money, my fucking like moisture, my nut, everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how the fuck? And I'm sorry survive? for that. <laughs> no, but how do you survive? Cause you come from a super- Dude, I thought about that too. Place. Cause I, I actually lived in LA before uh, I moved to Vegas. Mm. And I was like, man, I could never live in Vegas. And then I saw mm. the rent prices and I was like, I could live in Vegas. Yes, please. That's true. When I look at the rent or like yeah. the housing, I'm just like, Vegas is such an awesome well, place. Yes. I'm just throwing this out there because Ryan always pitches this to people like, oh, you should move out to Vegas. No income tax. Exactly. Yeah. That's his main Big. pitch. Big. Big. Yeah. Well, I'm with you guys up until I look at the Google Maps, right? And I see the house. I'm like, damn, that's tight. And then I zoom out and it's like a pocket of houses and it's like nothing. But isn't that awesome mind. for what is? Where are you right now, Geo? Fucking same shit. Don't say it on <laughs> camera, bro. Well, I'm just saying it's the same idea. I know, that's so true, but I have my mom. But See? Also, they're also expanding. Uh, they're also expanding. They're putting up a lot more stuff now. It sounds like you've given this pitch a few times. I, I have not. I've just heard Ryan give it, and I'm just uh -huh. regurgitating information. So he's Your problem is you move. don't even know what you don't yeah. like about Vegas, because you already decided you didn't like it. Gio. Uh, I think I'm traumatized by Vegas. Help, Joe, help me uncover that. Because uh, uh, really? my mom, yeah, my mom yeah. would always take us to Vegas. Because it was but, a bad experience. Yeah, and then when we would go, like, we had to wait in the lobby, and it was so fucking boring, because they're mm. gambling, and we're like, yeah. fucking But we're talking about place. moving, we're not talking about the strip, we're talking about, like, Henderson, or, like, right, Red but Rock. That's have... a childhood association exactly. to it. Thank yeah, you, I got you. I got How does Henderson, he just met me five minutes ago. Gia, real or bit, real or bit. Oh, real, dude. Oh, okay, gotcha. I, I, <laughs> I know, we don't know. We don't know. Before our Vegas no, trips, real. right? I'm just calling back over before, here. But before our Vegas trips, she never really even played and gambled. Yeah. I hated it. So it wasn't until uh, 
Brandon uh, started playing craps with them. Damn, and good memory. Game. Well, because I love gambling and I always want people to play. And then so if not everyone's on board, it cuts the gambling short. So I'm trying yeah. to get everyone addicted to gambling. Wait, did you use craps before we came to Vegas? No. No, oh, you and Brandon. 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 No, 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 no. Oh, no, so it was Brandon I introduced I me. Because we went there a couple times before Brandon. But you made it really fun. Okay, right on. Because Brandon it, already it, likes it, crap, so that's when they got into I'm it. Try to show you love, bro. I, it wasn't you at all, but I'm trying to show you some love. No, no, I know, but I just wanted to give it to Nikki because I can't handle love. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Real or bit? Real or bit? Real. Oh, shit. You, you, don't, don't, you, don't squander, you don't spend all your money on the tables? Oh, dude, I, I did, and then I was like, oh, I gotta stop. See, I think I'd be on uh, there, but I wouldn't tell myself to stop. Mm. See, that would be an interesting paycheck habit, right? Like, you get your check, and then you go to a casino, and then you play a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Double yeah. it. That building. Like, double it. the people who work at casinos, like, the tips they make, a lot of the times, they'll just try and, like, double down real Dang. quick. Like, as they're leaving, they'll just be like, bet it on black. Yeah, a lot of the dealers, you know when you tip them? Yeah. They just go, oh, just bet it for me. Yeah, yeah, I'm exactly. Like, Wait, don't you just want to collect? Because you're working, you mm -hmm. take this home. But they're just like, oh, just bet it for me. And they're like, seven out. <laughs> you watch their tip leave the table. It's like, oh, <laughs> yes. all right. How long Pretty you the same expression on their face after. The same darkness. Yeah. <laughs> the same darkness. It is. That's a they can't stop. They might be good comedians, actually. That's true. Yeah. Oh, right. Some of them are pretty funny. A lot of mm -hmm. drama. That's true. Some of them are. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, we would seriously entertain Vegas if we could get her family to come out. Like if her mom would be down to live Wait, with Wait, didn't us. your brother work out there? Used to? He did, but his wife doesn't want to move out there because she's got a bunch of family out here. Whatever, you guys are already yeah, breaking ground. your sister-in-law's family and then everyone can move. You're already breaking ground. They just want her mom to come. You're already breaking ground in your dream backyard, so I'm sure you'll be keeping Vegas open. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How fast would you actually yeah. make that decision? Make what decision? That yeah, you would how, entertain yeah. the thought and do it. Quickly, we move fast. We move pretty fast. Yeah. We move really fast. Yeah. <laughs> no, once you use things like, this is, we found our forever home, our forever home, our yeah. forever home on everything. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, they're moving to Vegas, sure. If yeah. her mom, the minute her mom is down to mobilize, it's different, it's game over. Gio, oh, by the way, mom. Gio, just so you know, real, not bit, real. You know, you said like, no statements, all questions this whole time. Yeah. So, what is role. your favorite or worst experience from Vegas? Uh, my favorite has to be with everyone. Like, we, we always take Vegas trips together, and I think it was that one time where it was just Bart, Geo, Joe, me, and Casey. That was fun. That was the best trip ever. There's no Steve, no Nikki. No <laughs> Steve, no Nikki. Because we got stoned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that time? <laughs> I remember that. That was fun. You know what? That was actually the best and the worst at the same time. Why? What was it? Why was Casey it? Casey and I had some real problems then. True. Oh, fuck. Yeah, what, what, what fucking state have you not had? <laughs> oh, literally everywhere we've traveled. Yeah, That's know, amazing. Bro. That's pretty good. I'm jealous of But that was a great uh, moment as a group. Fuck yeah, that was my favorite. Even though and it was it was actually thanks to you guys. Fun. That's Sounds so fun. funny because we joined in your trip because you guys got that free weekend yeah, we did. for that fucking timeshare that you got stuck in. <laughs> oh, you still have it. <laughs> yeah, you still, still have, have it? it. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, Listen, how? I how just don't want to deal with getting a lawyer like figuring it. I'm just like <laughs> whatever. Just everybody I'm you showed us too to try to like help us convince you. You're like. Isn't this nice, guys? <laughs> They're like, yeah, but it's so fucking far away from all the casinos. <laughs> oh, it's one of those? Oh, no, no, no. So that one was a separate timeshare, not the one I actually have. It was this oh. other timeshare trying to get us to get the timeshare. Oh, I see. Oh, God, another, oh, God. But that one, we were already smart by then. We're like, fuck that, we're not signing up, but we're getting this free hotel room. <laughs> You're like, we're not signing up for this. We're getting the one in the North Pole. That's gonna be sick. <laughs> Yes, you know what the dumbest thing ever is? It's not even a timeshare. It's fucking points for a vacation club. It's the worst scam ever. Don't ever buy into any of those. It's stupid. We don't even have a timeshare. Oh, oh man. You don't even get the time to say you have a timeshare. Yeah, I don't even get to say you that. You get vacation points. But yeah. it was thanks to you getting that deal <laughs> that got us you know, there. That's actually the same fucking thing that led us to the Hawaii trip, the first Hawaii trip with oh, all of us together. It was because yeah. we were supposed to get a free Hawaii trip. Cause you saw that fucking billboard that said, wanna go to Hawaii no. for free? No, it wasn't that. <laughs> oh God. 
Yes. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> your guys' foolishness allows for great stories. Yes. And uh, that's coming together. You have to fail more and create more mistakes because that's the yeah. best fucking and time. And have friends that are ridiculous. Yeah, that that's right, Tanya. Fun. Don't use protection, <laughs> you 14 year old. What? What, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Did I don't you condone just say? this message. She said, "Have mistakes with your friends." <laughs> this is the wild, in bro. Hawaii or what do they Vegas? do in Hawaii? Well, honestly, in Hawaii, dude, when I graduated, this girl in my graduating class had three kids by the time. One? We yeah, we have like fucking ten in every class here. What are you talking? You think <laughs> three? Those three kids by eighteen? Yeah. I think Mexicans got you beat. Okay, maybe. True. Damn. You have not lived in LA. Yeah. No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Not in like a high school like that. Damn, y'all be fucking like that? Mm -hmm. They fuck a lot here.